Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be showing you some of my 3D art projects from high school, so let's get started. First I have this teapot and it is a tree stump with some animals and bugs and stuff on it. So you can see there is a little butterfly, some vines for the handle, and just a bunch of other stuff like a snail. Here are the decorative teacups. This one is a bird's nest with a flower on it, and the other one is a tulip with a caterpillar. And here's a koi fish I made like a month or two ago. It wasn't a project or anything, I just had extra time and I chose to make it. Then I have two lanterns, so they're inspired by like the zodiac and like signs and different things and constellations. So you can like put a candle in the bottom and light it and you'll see the little patterns and stuff I cut out. I don't really like the glaze on these ones, but I do like the patterns. And here is a little birdhouse I made. It is a sea turtle. And I used iron oxide to give it the color. And then I made this little owl stamp. And I have no idea what that word is in Chinese, I think. It's Chinese. I don't even know what it is. And then I made a place setting inspired by fruit. So here's a kiwi bowl. And I have a watermelon mug. And here's a lemon slice coaster. And here's a grape plate, and I think it's like a salad serving plate. And then the larger plate is a pineapple. Then I made this relief of a building, and I really like the kind of eyes. And here is just a box with things I like on it. I actually didn't finish this. Um, I made this my first year taking 3D, and I was just too lazy to finish the glaze. I still got an A on it though, I don't know how. And here is a boot I made uh, in like October-ish, and it's inspired by Monet. And the laces broke off, which kind of stinks, but eh, it still looks cute. Then I made this big wire burlap sculpture, and it's just a person doing yoga. And here is a cardboard lantern. I colored all the translucent paper myself using some Copic markers. And here is another door relief. This one's inspired by Gothic architecture though. And my last piece is also inspired by Gothic architecture, and it is a rose window relief sculpture. Relief? Uh, yeah. Can't talk. So there is everything. Please read the description for more details, and I will see you soon. Bye!